developments in a story that we've been following all morning. A Michigan State trooper shot after a standoff on Detroit's east side. It is a story that you saw first breaking on 7 Action News this morning. Now that's where we find 7 Action News reporter Malcolm Maddox this afternoon, who has been following the story all morning, and he joins us now with the latest. I'm here on Townsend, just off Gratiot, where there is still a police presence, and there has been since about 4 this morning. That's about the time MSP troopers attempted to pull over a vehicle that Detroit police were searching for. A short time later, they all found themselves in the middle of a shootout. Shots fired. I'm hitting the leg. I'm hitting the leg. As you can hear, the veteran trooper is surprisingly calm after being hit in the leg during a shootout on Detroit's east side. Uh, he has non-life-threatening injuries, is doing fine at the hospital. This all began as Detroit police were searching for men who they say were impersonating police officers and robbing people. Troopers spotted the suspects and attempted to pull them over. When they conducted a traffic stop, the occupants of the vehicle bailed out, ran into the neighborhood. And into this house on Townsend Street, just off Gratiot. Police set up a perimeter, but when they went to enter the home... The, the troopers and the DPD officers were ambushed by the gunman. Uh, one of the troopers was struck in the leg. Other officers helped get the trooper to safety as they continued to exchange gunfire with the suspects. Police were eventually able to get the upper hand, and both suspects were taken into custody. But there was reason to believe there were more suspects inside the home, so SWAT was called in. Tear gas was eventually fired into the home before SWAT made entry. After a sweep of the property, the all clear was given. Now what we're doing is just starting the investigation. Uh, the detectives will go inside, uh, search for weapons, search for different items of evidence to make sure that we have everything for this case. One of the suspects was taken to the hospital as well. We're told that he has some sort of injury to his hand. Police have not told us whether he was shot or if he received that injury in some other way. From Detroit's east side, Malcolm Maddox, 7 Action News.